All right, guys, so I'm recording right now. We are in my friend's car. <laughs> I'm in the back seat, buckled with my seatbelt. I'm with my friend, Johanny. Not Johanny, <laughs> the H is silent. <laughs> and my friend, Stephanie, we are celebrating because we're speaking in faith that she is now an RN, an RN, right? Yes. She took her test, and we know we pray she has passed. She don't get her results till tomorrow, but we just know, like she's the bomb.com and she is an RN. So today is kind of like a mini celebration of that. Like we're gonna get petties and have breakfast, brunch, window shop. <laughs> Cause that's what we do, we window shop. <laughs> so anyways, so yeah, so I'm gonna vlog throughout the day a little bit here and there. Of course, you know, take, I'm not gonna vlog the whole time cause I wanna take time to enjoy the time with my friends. But we will show y'all the pedicure place that we're going to in Austin, like I told you. I'm going to show you that. And I will let you know if they do a good job. I will let you know if it's a five-star, three-star, one-and-a-half star. I'm going to let you know because I don't want you to waste your pennies. And then I'm going to show y'all our food that we're going to eat. And I'll also let you know if that's a five-star or one-and-a-half star. Or maybe it's off the charts and it's like a ten-star. So you're going to see all the goods. You're going to see all of it. And we're just going to see where the day takes us, guys. So stay tuned for this <laughs> vlog. And I'm going to keep y'all posted. Okay? Okay. sweet peeps I'm checking in it is now what time is it 11 a.m. we just got done with our pedicures and I'm gonna say you're gonna see in the vlog you'll see what it's called it's in are we in Austin or Round Rock okay so it's actually in Round Rock I apologize I said Austin if I'm gonna rate it looks wise walking in kind of feeling fancy I give it about a four three and a half four star service wise definitely a five I mean they serve iced coffee unlimited so my friend was getting all iced coffeeed up <laughs> as she was sitting there <laughs> both of my friends um, uh, yeah so they did a great job I got the jail nail um, on my toes it's so sparkly I can't show you right now because I already put my boots back on but I'll show you later maybe because you know I'm kind of sensitive about my toes because they're like real stubby <laughs> so anyway um, so yeah, so we're actually, I think we're headed to breakfast. We're going to this place called First Watch in Round Rock and it's like a brunch breakfast place. So I will definitely 
show you the food, show you what we get, show you the outside of it and all of that. So if you are in the Round Rock area, I say definitely check out the Nell Place for yourself. I think it's nice. I think they did a great job. It's a little bit more, of um, being honest, on the pricier side of as far as like a nail place that you go to, but not too bad. I mean, it, it's like a couple of bucks more than what I would go where I live. So, um, and of course, you're going to pay more for like gel polish and things like that. But all in all, it was great. I loved it. A uh, little side secret. I get my underarms back, so I did that too. <laughs> so I'm all smooth and fresh. <laughs> so anywho... But yeah, so I'll check in with you guys here in a moment as soon as we get to the restaurant. And once our food comes, I will show you the beautifulness, the beautifulness of the plates. Okay? All right. So we just left the restaurant first watch. So my friends say that they're going to rank the service a what? One. A one. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but they were pretty busy. So uh, yeah, the service wasn't the best. But the food was amazing. I definitely recommend check checking it out if you are in the Round Rock area. Or if you're in, I guess, it, well, this one was amazing. I don't know if a first watch anywhere else would be. But the menu was great. It's amazing just fresh seems like fresh ingredients so so good i had the salmon frittata is that what we had the salmon yeah. frittata yeah. the salmon frittata with fresh greens and um it came with like toast and you have to try it i don't do they have that bacon all the time they've had it every time i've been but they said it's a special okay so i don't know if it's seasonal i don't know if it's just like a special item right now on the menu but if you go and they have the million dollar bacon you better get the million dollar bacon. If you like bacon with sweet and just, it's like sweet and savory because it has like pepper and all that. I'm just, just try it. Just, just trust me on this one and get the million dollar bacon. <laughs> but anyway, so the restaurant was great. We are now headed to go do some, I don't know, window, window shopping, shopping slash shopping. We're going to see, we're just going to look around. We're going to go to Ross and JC Penny and maybe Ikea. I don't know. We're going to go walk off the frittata and the, <laughs> and the eggs benedict that we ate and all that stuff. So, so anyway, I will check in with you guys later, but yeah, just wanted to give an update on the restaurant. It's definitely amazing. Loved it. I would highly recommend it. I will go there again so I can try something else on the menu because it was so, so good. But the service was not up to par, but I think it could have been because they were busy. So... We're going to give it a one on that, but the food, we're going to start it probably, I'd say I'm going to give it a full five stars on the food, like for sure. It was great. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute.
right, guys, I'm doing a check in here. We are in DSW and I'm on the shoe hunt for some tan pump heels. But I didn't find anything. Yes, let me see them. <gasps> oh, those are pretty. I like those. That might hurt though, right? Yeah. Hmm. So, anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm on hunt for a purse and some tan pumps and some other stuff <laughs> that I can't share. <laughs> Hello, my sweet peeps. This is going to be a final check-in for our ladies' day. So we finished off our day. I did not accomplish any missions I had today, which was to find a purse. Did not find one. Uh, to find something else that I can't share. <laughs> did not find that either. And to um, find... I forget what was the other thing I was looking for. A purse. I can't remember. But anyways... No missions were accomplished today. Oh, some tan pumps. Yeah. Did not find those. So, yeah. So we tried to end our day with getting, you know, like a, a healthy frozen yogurt cup. And that didn't go well. So I don't know what the place is called. It's a Wolf Ranch in Georgetown. Very, very, very rude customer service. I'm big on customer service, guys. That's the industry that I'm in. I'm huge on customer service. I work for... Uh, one of the major corporations in the world that is holds very high ranking in customer service. It's a passion of mine. It's one of the passions that I that I have. Me and my husband, we are huge on customer service. And yeah, it's, it, it was kind of it was kind of stinky because we wanted some ice cream, some frozen yogurt, and it didn't end up that way. So, what did we end with? Starbucks. <laughs> we ended up with Starbucks. So that's what we're gonna end our day with. So this is gonna be the final check-in for this ladies' day out today. I may check in later. I still, I'm still gonna try to go do some shopping in my local town to see if I can end this day with one of my missions that I need to accomplish. So, so we'll see. By the end of the night, I may check in again if I do end up finding a purse or some tan pumps. But if not, we're gonna count that mission, the missions as a fail. But a great ladies' day with my friends and food was awesome and petties were awesome <laughs> so yeah so all in all good day so anyways all right guys well i will talk to you here in a little bit if i do end up going shopping or re-looking around in my hometown okay hello guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day so i'm gonna fast forward this part up and you'll just see me get ready like in 2.5 seconds <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and fast forward this part and then we'll come back when I'm done.
So today is Thursday. It is around 11.40 a.m. Um, sorry, I did not ever check back in on Tuesday night because I didn't end up actually finding anything. So, um, and last night, Wednesday, um, we had service. Um, and all that. I worked yesterday. We had church. Um, and then we just hang, I hung out with some friends afterwards for some coffee because currently my husband is in Honduras. So he's like on a, like a small mission trip. Um, so he's over there until tonight. He comes home tonight. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to, um, I got off early of work because we were slow and they just let us go home early. <laughs> So they gave us that option. So I went ahead and left early since my husband's coming to home tonight. Um, and my oldest son is off. And my mom and my daughter are here with me. So I thought, let's take a little road trip or let's go out. And I thought it'd be cool if I could find my husband like a coming home gift. Like just something special because this is a super special trip. Like he's wanted to go overseas um, like on a mission trip for a very long time. And opportunity came open. And so and God opened the doors and he was able to go. I'm super happy and I want it. I know it's memorable. I know it means a lot to him. Um, and so I thought it would be cool if I could find like a really nice just gift that would remind him of that trip, you know, coming home. He'll be like, oh, yes, you know, I got this. Um, I looked at my hand because I'm actually thinking about getting a watch for him. He loves watches. He collects them. He doesn't have a whole whole lot of them, but he does have a few. Um, and so I thought it would be cool if I could find him one um, that you know, like, like I said, as like a coming home gift and he can always remember, like he got that when he came home from Hunters, um, from that mission trip. So anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to kind of go around. Hopefully I find something. If not, I do know a pair of shoes that he has been wanting. Um, he always eyeballs them and never gets them. He just, he's like that, you know, he puts his fam first. I love my husband so much. <laughs> So, um, I'm so proud of him. He's like, he's like getting so thrifty and like, as far as like, you know, finding good sales, like I'm like, he's getting better at it than I am. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so that's the plan is we're going to just take a little road trip. Um, just hang out with my kids today and my mom. And then I may vlog a little bit throughout the day if we find some stuff, um, or go places and if I find something, I'll show you what I found for him. Um, but yeah, my hope is to find it before he comes home because he'll be home tonight. Probably, I think around 9 p.m. So <laughs> hopefully I'll find something. So anyways, so yeah, so I just wanted to check in and give you that update. So today is Thursday. Um, and yeah, and so hopefully let's see where the day takes us. Hey guys, just doing a check-in. So we got hungry. Can you guess where I am by my background? <laughs> so we stopped at Chili's. Side note, this is one of my family's favorite restaurants. We love stopping here for the three for ten. Hello. Drinks included in the drink. And the three for ten, you get a drink, an appetizer, and a main entree. You can't beat that. The drinks alone are like five dollars. Anyway, so yeah, so we're just here. We're gonna grab something to eat, and then we are going to go to the mall and see if we can find a gift for my husband and look around. And then we might stop and get Froyo. We're just taking like a family day. It's me and my daughter. Say hi, baby. <laughs> and then my mom and my son. So yeah. So we will um, check in here in a little bit before the mall. But I will show you our food once we get it and show you all the goodness, of course. All right. Let me know down in the comments below if you are hashtag Team Chili's. <laughs> And what is your favorite meal from Chili's? I'll share with you. My hands down favorite meal from Chili's is the Tex-Mex bowl. If you've never tried it, you've got to try it. I haven't had it in a very long time, but that was my favorite meal. So anyways, now it's the margarita chicken, I think, right? Is the margarita chicken with the black beans, um, super amazing. But anyways, so yeah, so let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite meal at Chili's if you've ever eaten there? And if you haven't, you must. <laughs> All right.
is doing a quick check-in. So I'm here in JCPenney. And remember I told you I wanted to see if I can find my husband a gift since he's coming back from Honduras. I wanted to find him something. He collects watches, so I was I was determined to get a watch. So I found one. I'm so excited. I hope he likes it. But anyways, I was going to show you. You guys get first peek at it because he won't see this until after because he gets back tonight. So it's fine. <laughs> so I'm going to show you, okay? So here is the watch. It's called, it's Relic by Fossil. So it's a fossil made watch. And my daughter's gonna help me open it. And this is the watch. So nice. It's like a brown. Oh, so nice. I can't wait to see my husband wear this. Like he, lo he wears a lot of suits and stuff like that. So I think it's gonna be perfect. I hope he likes it. I will see if he will give us his reaction later on tonight or let us know on video if he likes it or not. So yeah, so that is the watch, guys. JC Penny, I got an amazing deal. They're having like a pre-sale right now, so I got an amazing deal on that. So excited! Yay! Um, we're still here at the mall. Um, the mall, our mall here in our local city is not that great. So, yeah, so we didn't really find much outside of finding my husband's gift, which I'm super excited about. I'm glad I found that because um, he just texted me that he just landed um, in Houston. So he's on his way back home. So I'm so excited. So I got to go find a gift bag to put his watch in. And then, um, yeah, so I can't wait to get it to him tonight. But, um, but we're just in here waiting for security because I have to turn in the wheelchair for my mom and the office closed, so I have to wait. So anyway, so I just, after this, we're going to go to get some frozen yogurt. I'm gonna take my daughter to get some frozen yogurt and my mom. And then after that, we're just gonna, I'm gonna stop and try to find like a gift bag or something for my husband's gift. And then we are going to go home. Wait for my honey to get here. I'm so excited to see him. It's been he's been gone since Monday. So hashtag miss my baby. Alright, I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Hey guys, so just doing a little check-in here again. So sorry I didn't I did not um uh show y'all the froyo because honestly everybody was pooped by that point. My mom didn't want to get out the car. <laughs> so we just ran in, I got one for her, I got one for my daughter, and um yeah, we left because uh, we were gonna, we had to still go to Walmart because I had to go find like a gift bag for my husband's watch. And yeah, so we're just gonna chill um, until he gets home. I'm gonna do some laundry, just some house stuff. And then um, I'll probably maybe record or, or his reaction or maybe just, um, I don't know, I'll just maybe record him opening it and see what he says. I hope he likes it. Oh, I'm excited. So anyways, just to kind of recap, um, so I thought it'd be a good idea, like a little, like this is my husband's first like mission trip that he went on, it's like a mini mission trip or just, we have churches in Honduras. So he accompanied our pastor there and, and just, you know, went, um, he's always wanted to go. He's always wanted to go to like Honduras or Dominican or, you know, and any, any overseas work just to go and just see and just, you know, be a part of that. And so I'm so happy that God opened the doors and he was just, he was able to go this time. It just all worked out great. Um, however, or not however, but I'm sorry. Um, but I thought it'd be a good idea um, to get him a, just, I just wanted to get him a gift for when he comes back. It'd be something that he could remember, you know, that trip from. Um, so it's funny because my son saw the watch that I got him and he was like, oh, it's like a coffee color. And I was like, and my husband loves a coffee from Honduras because he's had other friends bring him back coffee from there when they've come um so anyway so he's always talking about their coffee that's what he's been talking about over since he's been over there and stuff like that so I was like it's perfect it's the color of coffee it's gonna remind him of Honduras <laughs> so anyway so yeah so we're gonna do that and so I might check in later on tonight when he gets back maybe not you know because I've missed him and I'm just gonna spend time with him and we're just gonna love on him 
So, um, yeah. So if I don't check in later tonight, then we will probably see you guys tomorrow. And I think tomorrow will probably, probably be the last uh, part of this vlog and we'll finish it off and click, close it up and all that. So remember guys, we're going to get these vlogs a try. We're just going to see how it goes. See if y'all like this type of style videos as well. I like it. It's a lot easier to edit and, um, we are, we don't really go a whole lot of places, but we do stay busy. So I'm sure I'd have footage for you guys. Uh, but it's also another way for me to easily share things that I'm using, that I'm loving from cosmetics to like home, you know, lifestyle, in-home type of things, fashion, things like that. So I think it'll be a, it'll be a really good way to be able to share those things with you. Um, and then, then rather than trying to put like, put together like a dedicated video on certain things that I'm loving or liking or trying or wanting to review for you guys, I can also give you, you know, kind of sneak peeks or talk to you about those things in a vlog style video. So anyway, so yeah, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, but, uh, you want to see the cutest thing ever? Let me show you. Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. <laughs> That's his early two chihuahua. Bella. Hi, Bella. Look at the camera. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. She's so cute. Yeah, we just got her not too long ago, so she's getting used to the home. She's getting used to the home. So cute. Bella. Bella. Oh, Bella. Oh, Bella. Oh, her face is dirty. She needs, <laughs> she needs a cleaning. Anyways. Oh, guys, let me show you something real quick. So this is like our little coffee bar section. I, um, if you do not have one of these, that is, I get the, I got this one from Walmart. It's one of those kettle things to warm the water. This thing I give to all of my friends <laughs> as like, like when they have bridal showers, um, uh, yeah, mostly bridal showers are like a birthday. I get that this, and I'm not kidding. I always get people tell me like, that is the best gift I got out of the whole thing. It's amazing. It's one of those things where you just put the water in, close it, you you uh, click this thing, it turns blue, and it lights it up and heats up the water within like seconds. So yeah, so I love it, love it, love it. We have babies. It's great to like, um, I've had some of my friends who I gave for baby showers, they sanitize stuff with it, hot tea, whatever, oatmeal. My daughter uses it to make her oatmeal, our cream of wheat, all that stuff. So anyway, and then of course we have the Ninja. This is the best gift ever. Our son gave this to us, I think like two Christmases ago and we use it and then my husband gave me this one about this keurig we have oh gosh i have had that keurig for at least at least five years if not longer um maybe six years now that i've had it it's still going strong but i do want to get the new one that has the um the kit the cup don't look at it i need to clean it uh, the cup the one cup and then it has like the pot on the side it's the newest one that just came out because we always have people over and we're always making coffee that's our thing and so anyway so it'd be good to have two and then also have one that has a one pot so anyways that's my plan and then in here is all my husband's my husband not only collects watches but he collects coffee mugs so I, you know, I, I can't let him go beyond this because this is already like extensive. Like who needs this many coffee mugs? <laughs> so anyways, um, yes, we are Texas Longhorn fans. Hello. Hashtag team Texas. Hashtag team Austin. That is where we're from. This one is a most recent one. It says love you to the moon and back. It's so funny because my husband got me this for Valentine's Day this year. Um, because my daughter had made him a Valentine's Day card and it's, and in her card, she wrote like a bunch of sweet, uh, sentiments and all that. And then at the end she says, love you to the moon and back. And then I put a post up on my Instagram and I'll put the picture up here that I put on there with a, you know, with a caption, just, you know, showing love to my husband. And in the end, I put the same thing without even knowing that my daughter put that. It's, and I put love you to the moon and back. So he saw this and felt like it was appropriate for Valentine's. <laughs> so I love it. It's my new favorite mug. Um, so yeah. So anyways, so these are like our, just our standard mugs. This one um, is from Dominican Republic. Some of our friends that preach overseas or go overseas or go out of you know if they go for family some a lot of our friends have people like family in puerto rico and all that stuff they go over there um and they'll bring us back coffee mugs because they know my husband collects them this one is my other favorite one from chicago 
when I went to Chicago, we went um, for an impact team for one of our churches in Chicago. First time I ever flew, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so proud of this cup because I actually went there myself and got it. <laughs> and then this is my other favorite one. One of my friends brought this back from Montana. Beautiful coffee mug. I know this is probably boring, but I love coffee mugs. We love them. And then up here are my you cannot use coffee mugs because these are all from very, very far away. London, you got Canada. Um, I think uh, Dominican Republic. Some are from Honduras. Um, Australia, I think. So yeah, a lot. And my most favorite, favorite that I will not even let anybody touch is this one right here. Our pastor brought this one back um, when they went. It's from an actual castle. And it's so cute. It's so tiny. I can't even reach it. <laughs> but I will not let nobody touch that one. And this one too. This one, a really good friend of mine brought this back from Japan. And yeah. So those are my cannot touch, cannot touch coffee mugs. And then of course we always have to go cups in here for like friends who come and hang out. Or if we want to just take a coffee mug, coffee to go, we'll, you know, we always have these handy. And then, of course, my Starbucks ones that I bought from Walmart that you can buy, like, in a pack of 10 or something. So, anyways, yeah. So, those are our coffee mugs. And then, I'm just trying to do something here. I'm just trying to figure it out. This is what I have right now for my system. I don't really like it. It's just what's working right now. So, like, I have our stirs and all this. And then, this, these are all our teas. And then in here is pretty empty right now, but we have like our cake cups, but um, I need to get, there's some stuff on Amazon, these things on Amazon that I want to get to put in here that you can stick the cake cups in. I'm like hashtag team organization. That's what I like. I love organization. So if you've never had the Verd Verdana, Ver no, sorry, Verdana, Veranda blend but from Starbucks, this is their light roast. So, so good. Light roast, I learned, does not mean, and tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong in the comments, let me know. But I I learned that light roast is actually the stronger coffee because dark from light to dark just means how long it's been roasted and cooked. Um, and so the longer that it's roasted, the more of the caffeine it burns and all that. So the light roast tastes better and it's the strongest. Is that true? I mean, that's what I, that's what I heard. So tell me if that's true. So anyways, but I love the, everybody that I make coffee for, because I have it in like my, up here is where I keep my other coffee. So this is the, that veranda blend, but in the, from the bag, I'm almost out. I need to buy more. These beans are from, I think they're from, I don't know where they're from actually, <laughs> to be honest with you, I forget. So anyways, so yeah, so everybody I make coffee for, in my ninja when they come over they're like what is that or they're like this is so good it's the veranda blend guys it's this one but in the bag form and yeah so give it a try very 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 delicious and then my husband likes these too the coffee cafe bustello the cafe con leche it already has like the it already has like a little bit of sugar and, and like the milk in it it's it's really good he really likes those um so yeah so those are the ones we have it's kind of empty and then, of course, I have, like, um, more teas. I still have my holiday blend. Yes. And then we have some coffee from Santa Domingo. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, that's my little coffee thingy. Then one of our friends brought this back from Cuba. One of our um, evangelist friends that goes and preaches all around the world. Um, so, yeah. My husband put it up there. So, anyways, sorry for that long, boring speech on coffee mugs and coffee <laughs> but we love coffee in this house so we love coffee so anyways guys so like i said i might check in later i'm just gonna clean up a little bit do some laundry chillax until my husband gets home and then we might check in just so he can tell you if he likes his watch or not and if he doesn't want to tell you i'll let you know <laughs> hey guys so quick check in here i'm gonna come back on really quick just to tell you my husband doesn't want to be on camera right now he just got back from a long trip but guess what he likes the watch so yeah they got first uh look at it um so i'm gonna i'm gonna show it i'm gonna have him put it on his arm so you can see it okay so exciting <laughs> Sorry. 
So anyways, we just got out of the service. Um, I know I apologize. I said I was going to come back on here Friday to close out the vlog, but that didn't happen. Didn't get to do that. And then yesterday I was dealing with a sick child. So I spent my day cleaning up stuff. Anyway, so I didn't get on yesterday. So anyway, um, so yeah. So I'm just going to, right now we are on our way to um, go to hang out with some friends for lunch. So we're going to stop at H-E-B um, and pick up a dessert and a drink to take with us. And yeah. So. Uh, you always want to take something to Yeah, house. guys, because you always want to take something to someone's house. Bring a, you want to bring a gift, a, like a like an offering. <laughs> so, anyway, so yeah, so we're going to a friend's house. We're going to have lunch and hang out. Um, I probably won't vlog that because I doubt they'd want to be on video. But I don't know. I may show you all our food. Like, I may show you the food that my friend cooks because she can cook it up. She's cooking southern a southern meal because she's from Louisiana. So, yeah, so her food's always delicious. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, also, I wanna let you guys know, what do you think about these eyelashes? <laughs> Aren't they so pretty? These are the new Salon Perfect. My favorite brand of eyelashes is Salon Perfect, always. I always go for those first, and then usually I'll go, if I don't find something there, Kiss is an other brand that I like, but Salon Perfect is usually my go-to brand. I love it. So these are the new ones they just came out with, the pre-permed lashes. They have the medium curl, or they have the tight curl, medium curl, and loose curl. This is the medium curl. I think they are so, so pretty. They are comfortable, lightweight. I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything you know, I don't usually wear lashes that much, but today I thought I want to be fancy because you know, my husband's been in Honduras all week and he got back and I just, you know, I want to look good for my honey. So I put on some lashes. <laughs> so anyways, but this is, I don't wear them much. I, through the entire vlog up to this point is my lashes. Okay, guys, those are mine with my favorite mascara by Essence. Um, but these are lashes. <laughs> so, but anywho. All right, we're about to get to H-E-B. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do, I, I've been thinking about doing a dedicated video to the Salon Perfect lashes to show the different styles and all of that. So let me know if that'd be something you'd be interested in and I will do it, all right? I'm interested. My husband said he's interested, so it's a done deal. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so anyway, all right guys, I will check in here in a little bit once we get to our friend's house and I'll show you the food. All right, okay. Thank you.